what is happening to the world? Rule number one of self-quarantine, you can wear whatever you want. Hey guys, it's Jay Lu. So in today's video, we are doing what I hope most of you guys are doing. Self-quarantining. That word is so annoying, quarantine. I can never spell that right. So as we all know, COVID-19 has rapidly taken over. Coronavirus or COVID-19, co for corona. B for virus, D for disease, and 19 for 2019, the year that it got discovered. The coronavirus has infected another patient. This is a crisis that will be with us. I think it's fair to say not for weeks, but for months. <gasps> Since everyone's been learning to wash their hands properly lately, we're gonna get into shapes and colors next week. What I really don't understand is how everyone is panic buying, but they will still go home in their shoes and lie down in their beds in their outside clothes. Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Panic buying doesn't make sense already. I mean, with toilet rolls like that, there's no correlation between poop and getting the coronavirus. But it's not your fault. There's a lot of things on the internet, so we should read with caution. Be educated, stay informed. This is not the time to panic, and certainly not a time to target a certain group of people. This is a time to be resilient, be understanding, because we're all in this together. So let's get through it together. So today I'm just gonna bring you guys quickly into my morning routine. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, don't you work at home anyway? The answer is yes, I'm not gonna lie to you. Social distancing, staying at home is not new to me, but that makes me an expert. expert. Jokes aside, I just want this difficult time, challenging time, be a little more fun through this video. I've even got my Bulbasaur socks on. So, I mean, the fun has already started for me. Siba Yitsi, let's get into my morning routine. Self-quarantine morning routine. That kind of rhymes. Quarantine routine. No, that definitely rhymes. Okay. How are you so calm? I'm gonna lie down on the floor with her. So, part of my morning routine is I annoy my dog and I let her entertain me. Oh, she's about to do a stretch. That's usually very entertaining. Hey, don't embarrass me in front of my audience. Sumsum, how do you feel about this COVID-19? Me too. For those of you who don't have a dog, <laughs> you're screwed. Because that, this thing over here, this precious baby, who's not sure what's happening right now, so her ears are freaking out. Oh. Yeah, part of my morning routine and my whole day routine, really. I would go insane without her. So in the morning, I like to pet her, I like to laugh at her, poke her a little bit, and uh, she likes to lick me in return. A lot. Carrot. She always tries to lick me, but when I go for the kiss, this is what happens. She looks away. Here, don't jump. Look at me. <laughs> so if you don't have a pet, now's not a good time to get a pet, but if you do, high five. Okay, so in the morning, I like to make sure that I do what makes me feel good and makes me feel motivated, and that's putting some makeup on. Yes, I already have makeup on, but it's okay. Touching up is alright as well. Just follow your usual routine, as long as it makes you feel good and you feel inspired to get the day moving. For mascara, I would suggest a waterproof mascara. You know, for those of you guys who are finally able to watch Crash Landing on you, this. That eyelash curler, very important to me. It really makes my eyes feel woken up. I dress up for myself. I wanna feel good for myself. It grow up. Next, it is important to get dressed because if I stay in my pajamas, nothing is getting done, nothing. So I'm gonna get out of this robe and I'm gonna wear probably a sweater. It's a little chilly. And you know, this this closet needs a bit of a, of a tidying up. So that, that could be what I'm doing today as well. Or tomorrow. No, today. Oh man. <laughs> Et voila. Getting dressed, done. And of course, I shower. And you can take extra long showers now that you're gonna be home all day. But also no, because it wastes water. Look away, perv. Ask God for some answers. Why? What are you trying to teach us? You know, some stress relief exercises is not a bad idea, especially when a lot of you guys' anxiety and stress levels are high. And if you don't have the patience to meditate, I suggest this. <laughs> Screaming exercises. <laughs> it is important to get your heart rate going, do some workouts. Well, my gym is closed, so I guess now I'll never know. 
what it looks like. For me, I like to go on walks with some some. Very good. Stretching before a workout. Here we go. Healthy lifestyle begins now, some some. What else can I do with you in my arms? Hong Kong had the first case in January. I feel like we all have PTSD from SARS. Not me, I was like a bean when that happened. But I was in primary school and I remember the panic. I think deaths happened pretty much every day. So once Hong Kong had it in January, we were like, all right, we're getting the masks, hand sanitizers. We were super cautious. Every single person wore a mask. So here's me taking the MTR to go to my driver's license. Yep, my exam's in a month. Wish me luck. And check it out, everyone is wearing a mask. Hong Kong is a very dense city. You know, we can't do the whole six feet apart thing, but we are very careful. I mean, everyone is doing their part. And I think that has translated into this our situation now. We don't really, we don't have a community outbreak and we're hoping that that can stay that way. A lot of people are fleeing back to Hong Kong now that there are um, quarantine policies and for anyone coming into Hong Kong except for China and Taiwan. I don't understand why. Please, if you have recently traveled, please discipline yourself. Self-quarantine for 14 days, please. I don't know how strict it is, so please just be good. Thank you very much. But you know, this applies to everyone in the world. And for those of you who are health workers or you know, work at high risk jobs like air hostesses, we thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Stay safe. And of course, the most important part of self-quarantine, food. By the way, I've recently started to become lactose intolerant and it is not fun. I've not gone into the full blown, you know, rush to the toilet situation that hasn't happened yet, but I do get gassy and very uncomfortable and Dan is not having fun. Is, is this dairy skimmed milk powder? I'm gonna Google this, but please don't take Yakult away from me. So part of being self-quarantine, yes, you do want to eat all day and that's okay. This is not going to last forever. Let yourself have fun. It's important to stay happy, stay positive during this time. And if that means pizza for breakfast, and don't judge the pineapples. But if it's pizza for breakfast that makes you happy, then go for it. I just want you to know to not feel guilty um, if you feel like oh, I'm eating more than I, I normally do. It doesn't matter. This is a temporary situation. It's not going to change you or affect you in any way if you eat a little bit more than you normally do for two weeks. Like, seriously, don't think about it, girl. Focus on your well-being and maybe stock up on some healthier snacks if that's what you want to do. For example, I love fruits. I mm, love grapes, I love mangoes, I love bananas, I love peaches, I love... Oh, fruits. fruits are my thing! <laughs> Check on your friends who are actually in quarantine. My friend Emmy and her husband, Chad, they're under mandatory quarantine. They just came back from Europe. And so, yeah, they literally can't leave. So let's check up on them. Hey, Emmy. Hello. Hello. What are you guys up to? Nothing. Yeah, no, same. Um, not much. Going on here, uh, but yeah, just wanted to check up on you. Talk to you later. To go. Oh, nice. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Call me in an hour. <laughs> okay, bye. So in Hong Kong, you have to go under mandatory quarantine if you came from Europe. At first, it was just Europe. Then now it's the entire world except for China and Taiwan. So how it works is when you arrive at the arrivals hall in Hong Kong, you have to be sectioned and they will give you a form and then you get to choose your location to be tracked via wristband or your WhatsApp. If you do get found out that you've left your premise, it's punishable by six months jail time and up to 25,000 Hong Kong dollars fine, but still it re truly relies on your honesty and your self-discipline. But Thank you guys for watching my self-quarantine morning routine. I hope you're staying safe out there. Don't panic. Just make sure you're staying informed. Keep a positive mindset. We will get through this. This is the time to be more understanding and more empathetic, more compassionate with each other because these, the, this is challenging time. Like we're literally living through a chapter of a history book. Please subscribe and join the Rice Fam. Turn on notifications so you know when I post. Give this video a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. That would really help me out. And 
I'll see you on my Instagram. Hot, hot, Bye.